Hi guys, welcome back. This is 4.1 part 2. Uh, this is Roman numerals. So once again, make sure you have your uh, fill in the blank notes out and ready to go because you're going to be filling those in with me as we go through this video and then you're going to be uploading them to Canvas. All right, so we looked at the Egyptians in part one and now we're on the Roman numerals. So the ancient Romans used Roman numerals, that's why they're called that, to compute values. Uh, the ancient Roman numeral system numeration is additive, just like the Egyptians. However, it's a little bit more mathematically sophisticated. So the uh, Romans were able to use subtraction. So we're going to have some rules dealing with subtraction that we're going to look at in a little bit. And also there are some rules that we're going to have to look at about how to add. So objective one, going from Roman numerals to Hindu Arabic numerals. Just a reminder again, Hindu Arabic is our numeral system. So we have the value of I, which is equivalent to the Hindu Arabic numeral of one. And there's a pen. There we go. Uh, the Roman numeral V is five. The Roman numeral X is 10. The Roman numeral L is 50. The Roman numeral C is 100. The Roman numeral D is 500. And then the Roman numeral M is 1000. So if we take a moment, some of you guys are pretty familiar with I, V, and X because some clocks uh, are in Roman numerals. But the rest of them, they're kind of, I don't know, people sometimes struggle with it. So L, remember, is 50. And we're going to be talking about the Super Bowl in a moment and talking about L. C, think of century. Century is 100 years. The prefix cent means 100. Uh, D stands for 500. And finally, M, think of millennials. You know, every 1,000 years, M. Okay. So here's the rules, and these are very important to keep in mind when you do them. You cannot use, and there should be a little word in here, more than, you cannot use more than three of the same symbol in a row. Uh, this is a very important thing because, for instance, if I want to re represent 40, I can't say X, 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 X. That's not allowed because I can only use three X's, no more than that. To show subtraction, a smaller Roman numeral is placed in front of a larger Roman numeral, okay? And if you are showing subtraction, you may only go down up to two or less place values. So two or less means two place values down or one place value down, no more than that. So we're gonna see these rules being used in the following examples. So let's go ahead and look at the first example, write M-D-C-C-C-L-X-X-V-I as a Roman numeral. All right. So just a reminder, M, and we have one of those, is equal to 1,000. So right now I have 1,000 plus. Uh, D is equal to 500, and I only have one of those, so I'm going to add 500 to that. C was equivalent to 100, remember century, and we have three C's, so I have 300. And I'm going to stop for a moment. Notice we only have three C's. If, uh, if I had four C's, then it is not a Roman numeral, okay? So you can only use three or less of the same symbol. All right, moving on, L. L is equal to 50, and I only have one of those, so I'm going to put plus 50. And then I have two X's. Remember, X equals 10. So two X's uh, stands for 20. And then I have one V. V, remember, is 5, so plus 5. And then finally, plus 1. Okay, so if I add all that together, I get 1,876. Uh, so that is the grand total there. Okay. Let's look at the next example, write C-M-L-X-I-V. Okay, before I start doing this, I check to see the order. 
For instance, is C bigger than M? If you said no, you're right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight that because I know that I'm going to have to do subtraction. The next symbol down is L. That one's okay. And then I have an X after it. Okay, X is smaller than L, so that's okay. And then I have IV. I is smaller than V, so that means that I have subtraction. Okay, so I've highlighted the subtraction. So C, M, that means I have M minus C. Remember the order's reverse. So M is 1,000 minus C, which is 100. That'll give me a grand total of 900. And then I had L, L is okay, that was 50. Then I had X, X was okay, that's 10. And then I had IV, okay. IV, remember I is smaller than V, so I need V minus I. So that's gonna be five minus one, which is four. Okay, if I add this together, I get 964. So once again, this is a great example of subtraction. How do I know it's subtraction? Because the value in front of the next one is smaller. For instance, C is smaller than M, whereas in the last example, everything was in order. M is bigger than D, D is bigger than C, L is bigger than X, X is bigger than V, and V is bigger than I. All right, so if you have a smaller value in front of a large one, you have to subtract. Okay, let's go to the next one. Objective two, going from Hindu Arabic numerals to Roman numerals. The rules we learned in objective one still apply. We will need to write out each number in expanded form. Then we will translate into Roman numerals. Remember that we need to follow the rules. Okay, when I say expanded form, I don't have to do the, you know, 10 to the second, 10 to the first, etc. But what I am going to write out is the value. So I have 300 plus 40 plus 2. Okay, so 300, uh, remember I can use three of the same symbols. So I know 100 equals C, so I can do C, C, C. Now I have 40. Uh, you could say, you know, hey, we could do four times 10, that sounds okay, but it's a problem because remember we can only use up to three of the same symbols. So even though X equals 10, I would have to use four of them to get 40. So I have to do something else. I can rewrite 40 as 50 minus 10. That'll work. So what is the symbol for 50? 50 is L. And what's the symbol for 10? X. Remember, I have to have the X in front of the L to show subtraction. Okay. So uh, two. Two is pretty easy because I remember I equals one. So I just have to put I, I. So what does this look like? This looks like C, 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 X, L, I, I. And by the way, order does matter as we see because remember we have subtraction. Okay, let's do this next one. Write the number 49 as a Roman numeral. Okay, 49, that's pretty close to 50, you say. Can I do 50 minus one? In other words, can I do 50, remember 50 is L, minus one, which is I, is this okay? The answer is no, I cannot do this. The reason why is because if you look at the values, I have M and then it goes D, C, L, X, V, I. This is the order, right? And if I look at this, I have L here, and I have to go down one, two, three place values to get to I. That doesn't work because the rules say I can only go up to two place values down. So that's why IL is not the answer. In fact, I am going to erase it. So don't put that down. So how do I rewrite 50? I'm going to have to write it out in expanded form. Do 40 plus 9. Okay, how do I represent 40? Well, I can do 50 minus 10, and that's okay because 50 is L and 10 is X. And X is only one place down from L, so that's okay. And then nine, uh, nine, how do I represent that? I can do maybe perhaps 10 minus one. Does that work? 
well, 10 is x and 1 is i, and that's two places down. That's okay. I just can't do any more than two. So what is the answer? xl, ix. Okay, so xl, ix would be your answer. Okay, uh, and let me, you know, I'm just going to fix this up, guys, because I think it looks a little messy. Um, so just make it clear, xl, i, X there, that's a little bit better. Okay, let's look at the last one. Write 1997 as a Roman numeral. Some of you may have been born then. I'm not sure, but uh, we're going to write this up. So I'm going to write this up as 1,000 plus 900 plus 90 plus 7. Okay, 1,000. Well, if you recall, 1,000 equals m. So we're going to put an m here, plus 900. I can get 900 by taking 1,000 minus 100. So let's see if that works. Um, I have an m, 100 is a c, and if I look at the order, c is 2 down from m, so that's okay. Plus uh, 90. 90, I'm going to have to take 100 minus 10. Okay, 100, remember, is C, and 10 is X. And if I look, X is two places down, so that's okay. And then I have to represent 7. Uh, 7 is actually 5 plus 2. Remember, we have that value of 5. So 5 is V, and 2 is I, I. So what do I get? I get M, C, M, X, C, V, I, I. All right, and that is the answer. Okie dokie. So we got that one done. So I'm going to give you a bonus problem in your notes just for fun. So how do I write, or check this out and tell me if you think this is true. If I was going to write 999 as a Roman numeral, is this correct? 999 is equal to I M. Is that true? So take a moment and pause me and see if that's true. And then uh, when you're done, go ahead and play again and see if you get the same answer. Okay, so hopefully you did the work and saw that this is not true. This is false. The reason why is because I is way far down there. Remember, we have M, D, C, L, X, V, I, okay? And if you have M, uh, to get to I, that's one, two, three, four, five, six place values down. Remember, you can only go two or less. So how do I write this up? I'm going to have to break it up. I'm going to have to do 900 plus 90 plus 9. Okay, so 900 is 1,000 minus 100. That gives me uh, 1,000 is M, 100 is C, so CM, plus 90. I'm going to get 90 by taking 100 minus 10. Uh, so that is C, and then I put an X in front of it, plus uh, 9. 9 is close to 10. So we can do 10 minus 1 because uh, 1 is two places down from it. So 10 is X and 1 is V. So C, M, X, C, I, X would be the answer to make that true. So to make the statement true, 999 is equal to C, M, X, C, I, X. Okay, another fun fact. All right, so football. Some of you guys are huge football plan, fans, excuse me, and they have the Super Bowl every year. So Super Bowl 50, they did not use Roman numerals because remember, the Roman numeral for 50 is just L, and they didn't want to have that on the shirt, so that's why they wrote out 50. Now, Super Bowl 49 uh, was, I think it was, it, yeah, it was a problem as well. Uh, 49, remember we have to write that up as 40 plus 9, right guys? So Super Bowl 49 was 50 
minus 10, so 50 is L, so XL, and then 9 would be um, 10 minus 1, which is IX. So XL, IX, that's okay. Um, I think the one I'm thinking of was XL. Okay, so Super Bowl XL, what is that equal to? Super Bowl XL is going to be 50 minus 10, which is 40. So Super Bowl 40 was a little bit of a problem too. So that's why if you look through, you know, some of the stuff that they didn't use Roman numerals for a couple years because of that. Okie dokie. So there's a little bit of Super Bowl knowledge for you. And I hope you enjoyed it. By the way, you're officially done with 14.1. Yay. So good for you. You got one section done. Uh, and um, yeah, go ahead and upload your notes. That's the next thing you need to do. And do the homework in my math lab.